This is Tony Hendrick with Painting Spirit, and today I'm going to talk about the essential. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to do a little painting from a photo today. So we'll just start filling in stuff and I'll talk about the essential. And what is essential? Well, I guess it's going to be different for everybody. What that might be for you could be even much different for me. But I think it's a valuable thing to be aware of what's essential when you're creating. What's essential to you? What's essential to the story that you're creating? Right now I'm just taking that wet paint and moving it around with some medium. I talked about the medium that I use. These golden open acrylics and the medium. Which is basically the color colorless acrylic that holds the pigment. I consider it an essential for the way that I paint, an essential part of the way that I work. So I guess I just picked this subject and wanted to talk about it and so I'm just going to go with some of the thoughts that came to me when I was pondering it, contemplating it. And one of them was a memory of a design that I did years ago, probably t between 20 and 25 years ago when I was designing billboards in the design department I also painted the billboards but this was a a period where I worked in the design department for a little while it wasn't really where I was best suited looking back on it but we had this um advertisement we were going to do in I think a brochure for the Wharton Center which is just a, a hall where events happen and so there's a little pamphlet that goes along with it and I came up with a an ad that ended up winning I think it's called an Addy again this is 20 some years ago so I don't have a full recollection, but I do rec remember the essential line of this um, advertisement. So you, you have this pamphlet, you're sitting and watching a play or a show, I'm not sure what the event was that it might have even been the Addy Awards. No, it couldn't have been that. Um. Anyway, it doesn't matter. That's not essential to my story. <laughs> so, the advertisement was just basically a full page of this pamphlet. It was just made to look like, uh, you know, a page of a book, a lot of text on it. A page of a newspaper or... And in the middle of all this text, I highlighted or made bold 
bold letters, maybe even a different font, get out of the clutter or you'll end up in the trash or something to that effect. And I started this whole page of copy or text with the line. Some days you get up, go outside, breathe the dewy morning air, and life bites you in the ankle like a bad-tempered puppy. And that's what I ended up anchoring my whole ad on was that first line just to grab people's attention and the, the words following that were just words I used to kind of guide people into the story that I had written but there wasn't a whole lot of substance behind what I was writing and eventually the what I wrote just turned to gobbledy gook it was basically just used to bring out that other message, which was to get out of the clutter. And it basically was making a comment about advertisements and pamphlets. People end up just throwing them in the trash. So people should just go with billboards or whatever, because you can't throw that in the trash. And core thing about billboards is to be simple get to the essence of the point of your advertisement so why am I thinking about this ad 25 years ago when I'm talking about essence A lot of times we get into a piece of art and we want to really make an impact with it. A lot of times the mind will take that desire, turn it into something very complicated, and then you forget the essence of what you're talking about. It and it's just um, becomes kind of a cluttered piece. I have many cluttered pieces, so I'm not making a comment about cluttered pieces necessarily. They have their place. When you're exploring ideas. Sometimes the painting does get cluttered. But I also have a lot of paintings where I've started out with an idea and And then I see more of the painting as I work on it and I start taking stuff away and just getting it down to its essence. There's parts of the painting. It's editing really, bringing it down to its essence. So I think it's a good quality to focus on in any piece that you're doing, asking yourself the question, what's the essential here? And things that are maybe simple, look simple, weren't so simple necessarily to get to. Talk about my Tai Chi that I practice. And I think I do that because I actually practice it before I start these videos. So it's on, <laughs> on my mind. Oh, it's, I just lost my brush there. Oh, it's gross. Just fell into the paint. Just sort of playing with 
this image of the sun shining through the trees. You know, something with working from a photo. It's a photo. It doesn't always necessarily capture the essence of something. The essence of what made you inspired to maybe take a photo originally. It's just taking in information in the way that it knows how to. The camera, and that has changed over the years. From using film to digital. So the quality of photos has changed over the years. It's not always capturing the essence of what it is we're wanting to capture. And so this light was shining through the trees here and I snapped a photo of it. And the camera wants to change that light into kind of a star formation. It's just the way a photo captures light, I guess. It's not necessarily capturing the essence of the experience that I had. It captures it in its own unique way. Might actually introduce a different way of me seeing what it was that I saw. But right now, I'm just allowing myself to get into the essence of what's happening in the painting instead of paying too much attention to the photo. goes back to what I've talked about before with abstraction kind of being an essential part of or not the base of all artwork can be brought back to its essential abstract qualities So I'm just allowing myself to be inspired by this photo, but kind of stop paying attention to it. And now I'm just into the painting. Let's see what happens. Had some ideas about it at first, and those change. That advertisement I talked about that happened with that. Funny thing of it, I, I won a, an Addy and I'd never designed for print before. But I was probably bringing a, a fresh idea into print where if you were designing print advertisements all the time, you might get into a, a habit, a routine, a formula. I'm not sure I talked too much about the essential with this. Maybe I got more into the essence of painting than talking. So, but I thought it was a good topic. Right now I'm kind of going in a, into a process in my life, getting into some spring cleaning, really thinking about what's essential to me. Yeah, it's something you can play around with this week. So get out your brushes. Tap into what's essential for you. It's always going to be unique to you. I will do the same.
continue on with some of my spring cleaning, getting myself ready for painting outside this this summer. Really looking forward to that. New projects happening. Playing around with the color right now in this painting. Maybe I'll do that a little bit after I click the button to say goodbye. Get out your own brushes, and we'll see you tomorrow.